All righty, we got another four on four cube draft here, and uh, ooh, we've got myself, Nav, Dan the Man, and Strider battling against Mac, who's passing to me. Hmm, I don't like that. Mac has, has learned too well. Uh, I'm passing to Masapo, the Mandrel Man, and battling against Talisker and my potatoes as well. Pretty solid opening pick. There's Flash, Swords to Plowshares, and Skull Clamp, and I'm going to slam Flash. I think Flash pick one, pack one is awesome. You just know exactly what you need from pick one, pack one, and it's such a good card. It's like an I win button if you ever draw this, plus one of the good Flash targets. I would imagine Masapo takes Plow, but he might take Skull Clamp. He loves Artifact slash Storm decks, in which case Dan gets Swords. Either way is fine with me. I think Swords is a slightly better card to take early. There is a world where Oath wields, by the way, which is good in a Flash deck, because I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it seems good quite doable to have that happen and after first picking flash i think i might follow it up with a lion's eye diamond as, as a treat you know i know mac doesn't pass lion's eye diamond lightly and passing to me especially but i think led is just really strong if you get obviously breach echo of eons other draw sevens there's just a lot that goes with it and this pack the next best card is volcanic island which is good but i think lion's eye has a much higher high, high end this pack has Palace Jailer, which I'm going to try to float, and I hope that Masapo didn't take Swords, because this isn't really a Palace Jailer setup for me, and I think I might just Daze here. I love Daze. It's good with a low-curve combo deck like Flash, like when you're putting early pressure on them, and I don't. I think it's too early to take Gorio's Vengeance or Sensei's Top, and I think Daze is really good. Oh, and there's Currency Converter. I love the Converter. Plus, Flash decks are going to discard some amount of the time anyway. And there's also Mox Opal, which isn't going to wheel. And I do like Expressive Iteration, but honestly, I'm really, I'm just very high on Currency Converter. I think the card is very good. All right. Plus, it opens the door really nicely to playing like Academy. Flash decks often have a Reanimator component, and Currency Converter helps you discard. Oh, wow. Sure. I'll, I'll take a Time Spiral here. I mean, past Parallax Wave. Really hope... There's no real way to know which direction uh, the monk is going, but uh, hopefully he took Skull Clamp and then passed the swords and didn't take the Jailer. But I'm going to take Parallax or it's Time Spiral over P Wave. There's also Tamiyo, Mystic Forge, and Basalt Monolith in the pack. All right, now I just need Mac to pass me a Tolarian Academy, which he would never do. And we've got a real stew going. But I like I like where we're at here. Time Spiral Flash is a good combo. Anytime you're just drawing a bunch of cards and, and untapping a bunch of lands, Flash is a good way to convert all those extra cards in that mana into something actionable. What do I want? I want Atroxa, World Spine Worm, Itali are like the good Flash combination cards. Torsten is also not bad. And then now that I have Time Spiral, oh, there's the World Spine Worm. Now that I have Time Spiral, uh, I'm looking for big mana plays too. I like Skydiver. I like Gemstone Caverns, but I'm slamming World Spine. Now that I have Flash, World Spine Worm, oh, we are we are getting there. Okay. I cannot believe this got cut from the Magic Online cube. Malfeasance, I say. Uh, despite passing Xurnor, but I don't really feel the, any sort of pull to take Crucible. I'm going to take Zagoth Trium. Zagoth Trium is great here. It is two. Two of the three colors I'm most likely to be, which is blue and black. And then green, still likely. World's Mind doesn't really count as a green card. Plus, it is an island I can return for days. So I think I think this is good. Also, minor combo. If you cycle a Triome with Currency Converter in play, you can immediately exile it and put it in your graveyard as a treasure. It sounds silly, but, you know, that kind of stuff adds up. Next pack. Ooh, there's Thopter Foundry. Should we just keep specking? I kind of feel like we should. I don't really care about missing out on like a primeval titan. I'm not going to flash that in. I don't care about collector brutality. All right, I'll take I'll take Thopter Foundry, and uh, I would imagine Max not going to pass me a Sword of the Meek in pack three, but I might I might steal one in pack two. No one else on the other side of the table knows it went all the way to me, so like Masapo is no reason not to pass me a sword. Wow, Fallen Shinobi and Dothy Voidwalker are still in the pack. That's interesting. I thought there was a decent chance something else would wheel. There's now... I like Voidwalker. I don't think this is a Shinobi deck. Talisman isn't crazy, but I don't really want a black-green Talisman that much. I'm looking at this Faithless looting. It's pretty good with Currency Converter. 
Dothy Voidwalker is a good card, though. Let's just take Dothy Voidwalker. It's just too strong of a card, I think. And then here, I might just take Soul Guide Lantern. I don't really care. I, I don't think Flashing and Titan of Industry is actually good. All right, I'll take Imperial Seal for my Flash deck. And nothing else is going to come back. I guess I'll hate a Crescent Canopy. Or maybe a Swift Reconfiguration. I don't know. Seems kind of immaterial. I guess maybe Dragon's Rage Channel or so. I've got a Thopter Foundry that doesn't have a, a Sword of the Meek here. Oh, Emery. It's not a crazy Emery deck. I've got I've got some decent Emery combos, and I don't think missing out on Infernal Grasper or, or Custodial Lich is that big of a deal. I'll take March because it would be good against me. Oh, Goblin Welder. I, did, I think the Goblin Welder stuff isn't very good. All right. Pack two. Looking for Sword of the Meek, but definitely don't want to first pick it. Pretty happy first picking Mana Vault, though. Mana Vault is fantastic with Time Spiral. It's actually good with Thopter Foundry. You can sack the Foundry afterwards. And I'm not packing, passing Mac anything. Love that. Love that for me. Maybe I'll get back... Yeah, nothing really. I guess possibly... I mean, Goblin Engineer is probably going to come back. I just don't want it. <laughs> I guess if I picked up the Thopter Sword combo, Goblin Engineer is kind of nice because it tutors for the sword. Really, tutors for either side, if you want. But tutors for the sword, even if they kill the goblin, the sword can bring itself back. So let's see what this looks like. I really hope that uh, Masapo didn't end up taking that sword to plowshares. This, I think it would have. it's fine if he did. He, he got a couple good white cards, but it'd be really good if he didn't. Okay, well, I'm going to take Animate Dead here. I don't have a good Animate target yet, but I have Flash and Converter to put it into the graveyard. I have Imperial Seal. Emery can mill things. And I think I'll give up on Spell Pierce, Frantic Search, Force Negation. Animate Dead is just too good of a card. So taking Animate. And this is kind of a disappointing pack, but I'll just take Brainstorm. I just don't really care for much here. I don't even think Mishra's Bauble is... No, I guess Mishra's Bauble is actually pretty nice with Emery. Let's just take the Bauble in. Brainstorm and Bauble are pretty close anyway. They're both kind of marginal cantrips. It's not like I'm happy taking them at this point. But... More cheap artifacts is kind of nice, and I don't know, who knows, at some point maybe I could open Tularen Academy. I, again, don't get to play with that card too often anymore. I kind of wish I took Faithless Looting over Voidwalker if this Welder st starts to do something, but realistically the Voidwalker is still going to be better. At this point I'm just blue-black, I don't even need to splash red for any reason. And hoping the next couple of picks are a little better than the last one, but starting out with Mana Vault Anime Dead is not bad. What I really want is a big creature. Oh. So this pack has a recurring nightmare, which I'm not really that into. I have Animate already. Sheldock, which is great. Trinket Mage, which I actually really like, but there's also Retrofitter. Retrofitter with Emery is nice. Retrofitter Thopter Foundry is actually kind of nice because what you do is you can sack an artifact to make a Thopter and then immediately sack it to make a 4-4. I think I'm just going to take the Retrofitter. Maybe the Trinket Mage comes back. Oriox Salvagers. Oh, I actually think this might be a Salvagers game. Yeah, because look, it goes infinite with Lion's Eye, and then I have infinite mana, and I can make infinite tokens with Retrofitter or stack a bunch of Bobble Triggers. Yeah, that sounds fine. Also, I'm not really giving up anything, so that works for me. And here... Snapcaster Mage looks really bad here, so I think Mindstone or Red Blue Talisman is, is going to be the, the pick. I don't think I want Fire Covenant here. I do like Fire Covenant, but I, I don't think I have the ability to cast it well enough. So I think I'd rather just take a Talisman. Now I can take Triplicate Titan, though. That's another card I can flash in. It's a card I can animate. I like it a little better than Baleful Strix or Watery Grave as a result, though. It's nice that both of those are here. There's also a Mirror Retriever, but I haven't really been impressed with that card. All right, let's put these there. We're looking okay here. Could use one of another big animate target if there is one to be had. Um, black White Talisman looks kind of nice because I'm playing both black and white. I don't think I'm quite in the Thought Monitor zone for artifacts. Not quite yet. I'm not going to get the Thought Monitor back either, so it's, it's a shame. But I just feel like a double-odd color talisman is pretty nice. 
especially since I don't have a ton of lands. I just have one blue-black land. So that seems good. Unfortunately, no Sword of the Meek. Liliana did wheel. A million good red cards. They don't really want Goblin Engineer. I guess with Oriok Salvagers, it's a combo too. I think it's still rather just take Liliana of the Veil. Now there's a Seachrome Coast, which I think I'd rather have than Urtai. Just having my mana work is something I prioritize here. And I have plenty of playables going into the next pack. So Claren Academy would be a gift. An Atroxa would be really nice for Flash and reanimate purposes. I have a couple discard outlets. I have Flash is effectively one, Liliana is one, and Currency Converter is one. Emery Milling is kind of one. Lion's Eye Diamond, I guess, is kind of one, but it's a little, little hard to get that one going. Obviously, Black Lotus would be nice to go with this Oriox Salvagers. <laughs> Some more in the way of mana wouldn't be bad either, so... I think we're doing all right going to this next pack. And now there's black, white, and black, red. I guess black, white's actually the fixing I want. Yeah, I'll take that. And now there's a red, black talisman or a black, white, green duel. Um, I'm actually getting to the point where I don't think a third talisman is quite as good. Let's just take the duel, I think. And then now I guess I'll hate an abrupt decay because abrupt decay is kind of good against me. I passed uh, Mac, Elite Depths, and uh, Elvish Reclaimer. I guess I'll take Scrap Trawler. I don't know. There's a there's a possibility I play it. And Bubbling Muck, huh? Any Black Lotuses? Not quite, but there is a Seasoned Dungeoneer, which I guess I will take because it's better than anything else here. Yeah, I mean, it's that or like take a Miscalculation. or I don't even really need Steam Vents. I guess Raugrin Triumph's kind of the same. I don't know. I'll take Seasoned Engineer. It's fine. And then, oh, there's a Reanimate. I guess Reanimate is probably what I want second most. Uh, after, I mean, getting Reanimates is good. Getting big creatures would be nice. I don't have anything to do with Portal. I don't want Shallow Grave. I think I'd rather just have Reanimate. It's a lot better. Okay. I mean, this deck could potentially, like set up a, a very early salvagers win by just reanimating it <laughs> that is a possibility flash in salvagers reanimate it uh, at this point we're not getting academy most likely and we could still get a troxa if i got a third pick a troxa here i would be extremely happy could certainly get a tolly that wouldn't be that surprising Probably not going to get a breach. Echo of Eons is a is a possibility as well. Mm, there's a stage to go with that depths. Probably just Scrubland. It's kind of disappointing. I could take Lotus Petal, but it doesn't actually work with Salvagers. I could also take Pentad Prism, but I've got two Talismans, which I I kind of like. That's plenty. Maybe maybe Lotus Petal is good just to just to try to optimize for unfair starts. All right, and here, I mean, here I'll just take Fractured Identity. As much as this card, I think, has lost a step, it's still, well, at this point, Thopter Found is probably not making it. It's still good. I have Mana Vault. I have some Talismans. Uh, I'm, I'm fine to take Fractured Identity here. Echo Vions would actually be an insane card to pick up if I could get one because it's another card that you can go Salvagers, make infinite mana with LED, and then flashback Echo because the Salvagers-LED combo loses a bit of a step because you do have to discard your hand which is why having one mana artifacts work out really nicely with it i guess currency converter lets you loot once <laughs> that, that's something though oh what is this pack it has solitude and counterspell and grief but for me it's got echo and atroxa i have to take atroxa flash atroxa animate atroxa is just too strong it's a tragedy. Is there any way Echo wheels? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not really, no. I think Atrox is too good. Echo is good specifically with LED. Oh, man, Echo's so good. Well, Atroxa, that is. Uh, and then now I could take the, the Troll. The Troll's probably pretty good. It doesn't get white. Oh, it gets white mana too. It, it tapped, but I might wheel that Scrubland anyway. I don't think giving losing a Samwise is that bad. Yeah, I think Troll is, is going to be really good. 
15, 16. So I need to cut a couple of cards here. And I still like the Time Twister. I guess Soul Guide Lantern I can probably cut. I might want to cut the Dothy Voidwalker. I don't really have a way to make cards go to the graveyard. But we'll see. Okay, so this pack has a Narset, which if I had taken the Echo, I'd be slamming Narset, though I'm still kind of looking at that Narset. There's also Cart Clan Ironworks to go with Scrap Trawler, but I don't think we ended up there. There's a chance that Cart Clan Ironworks is actually the last card. All these cards are playable. There's also Ashen Rider, which you flash as a double Terminate or a double Exile and then put into play. No, I'll just, I'll just take Narset. Do I want any of these? Not really. I don't think... Like, I'm not going to Enlighten Tutor. I ended up not getting Sword of the Meek for that Thopter. I, Grave Titans, if you flash in, you get two guys, that's it. But you do get to reanimate it, and reanimating it is pretty strong. Mm, I think that's probably fine. I don't really think I'm going to play Karn either. A Might Stone and a Weak Stone Time Warp both came back, sort of Fairy Mastermind. I don't really have any combos with Might Stone and Weak Stone. Time Warp is kind of nice with Seasoned Engineer and Time Spiral. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Wow, Shallow Grave and Chrome Host Seed Shark both came back. And Blue Black Talisman, though I don't really want that. Same with Mesmeric Fiend. Chrome Host Seed Shark with Salvagers makes infinite zero zero tokens. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't actually do anything. That's really funny. Uh, Shallow Grave works out kind of nicely with a bunch of these things, sure. All right, I'll take a blue-black land. I think I've got to take that. I've already, I'm already cutting good cards here. Okay, Thief of Sanity is a card I would consider playing. This was the Echo of Eons pack. I'm surprisingly didn't come back. I think I will take Lingering Souls. Don't think I care about Revoker. Sure, I'll take a Damnation. Oh, I did get a last pick, Kirk Clan Ironworks. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what I could do with that. So, looking at this, this is 14, really 15 lands, which just means, which does mean I have to cut a couple cards here. I think that Emery is actually fine here. I've got enough artifacts, and a couple of them are pretty good to bring back. It's also kind of nice with Salvagers, like I could, I guess any artifact I can cast. Oh no, I can make infinite mana and then cast Triplicate Titan out of my graveyard with Emery. That's not terrible. Days, I still think, is probably okay. Let's see. I would really be sad if I had to cut it, but let's see what my lands would look like once we have them. So if I have one planes, I have one, two, three, four white sources, plus troll gets a tapped white source, is five, plus lotus petal, converter, oh, and then one talisman. Yeah. So it's five. One, two, three, four, five, plus petal and a talisman is seven. I mean, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Green, actually, we're set. We've got our two triumphs for green for Atroxa, plus like a petal. That's not bad. Black, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black. That's not bad. And then one, two, four five six seven eight nine oh i am gonna be able to play days i think because i think i'm gonna end up playing something like that for lands so 15 plus a troll 16 plus these other things and yeah i like time sparrow uh, i think i like time warp currency converter mana vault bobble i mean honestly i could just cut the blue the blue red talisman. That seems pretty reasonable to me. Yeah, I mean I've got a couple things I'm accelerating to, like these four things, but I think I think it's gonna be good. I think Liliana's good enough. I just want a discard outlet. Yeah, I think blue blue talisman is probably cuttable. There's also a lingering souls and a thief of sanity. And let's see, is there anything I can do with Scrap Trawler Cart Clan? Not really, right? I mean I can if I get these two in play, I sack a talisman, get back a bauble. No, I don't have the mirror retriever. Yeah, that seems fine. And I don't think I want to play any of the white removal spells. Dothy Voidwalker is definitely a good card. Mm, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I have enough black sources for it, but I just don't think it fits into the game plan that much. All right, I think this is what I'm going with. Alrighty, so my teammates, we've got Strider on Mana Crypt, Red White Beats, Thalia, Giver of Runes, White Plume Adventure, Fourth Year Lingus. This looks great. A Braid, Get Lost, Reprieve, Council's Judgment. Awesome. Uh, we've got uh, Nav on Lotus Pearl, Tamio, Displacer Kitten, Teferi combo. The Atali's getting in there. There's an Atali in the sideboard that's going to end up getting in. Um, we talked about the deck with Entomb, Life Death. A lot of uh, duels, Urza Saga, Scrubland, or uh, Sheldock. It looks pretty good. And great news, Dan uh, did get all the white in pack one. Uh, Masapo did not take Swords, did not take Palace Jailer, did not take Parallax Wave. So we've got Comet, Parallax Wave, Jailer, Swords, Firebolt. Just a fantastic solitude, just a great deck. So I think we've got a good shot here. Round one, playing against some Potatoes. And... I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. This is effectively six lands. It doesn't really do anything. All right, this is a lot better. So I'm going to keep this. And I kind of think I just shipped the LED. I don't really want to, trust me. But I think with Currency Converter and Time Spiral, I think I could just ship LED, try to build up to six mana using Converter discarding lands. To make treasures and then of course i'm keeping animate dead because if i draw any of my big creatures and fire off an animate dead then i'll be happy oh misha's workshop into expedition map and sensei's divining top okay wow that's interesting all right can i get an atroxa no i mean narset's okay though i can i can at very least play narset next turn if i really want to because i can discard the uh swamp to currency converter. Turn one workshop, play two one drop artifacts that I can't activate. Is that, this looks worse than just basic land cast sensei's divining top, to be honest. We'll, we'll see what turn two yields. If turn two is like land, thran, dynamo, you know, activate workshop or something. It's a very different story. All right, forest, go. All right, let's use currency converter. Any atroxes? No. Reanimate though. I think I'm going to discard Swamp because this guarantees I get to cast Narset next turn. Oh, and a, and a Triumph, which is great. So let's go let's play Zagoth Triumph. Actually, I kind of don't feel the need to drop Narset here. Well, no, Narset could help could help find mana stuff. So yeah, let's 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 convert her. Use Narset here. The second animate is kind of awkward, honestly, but I think that's okay. Let's go Narset. And I don't think I need to use it, or do I? I kind of. No, that's not how that works. Um, I guess I should probably use it. I feel like it's not that likely they're going to have a bolt, and I'm going to want to use it between this turn and next turn, I think is fairly likely to be true. Taking a look at my deck, I guess I'm hoping to hit Mana Vault. Mana Vault would be the, the, the real good one. Oh, there's Mana Vault. All right, because now if I draw any land, I can go Mana Vault into Time Spiral with a Narset in play. Okay, they have Academy, so, and they have Urza. Oh, yikes, okay, that took a turn for the worse. I mean, there's a reason they're playing Expedition Map. I kind of assumed they had Academy in their deck. Now we're in a situation where I pretty strongly need to find like a Narset or, a, sorry, a, a Troxa or something to animate it. Though, yeah, I guess we'll see what we draw. If we draw a land, I'm probably still firing off the Time Spiral plan. Not land makes things a little different. Seasoned Dungeoneer. Let's minus this, because if I find Lotus Petal, I could still do it this turn. Mishra's Bobble, Talisman of Hierarchy. Guess I'd rather have Mishra's Bobble. Let's draw a card. And discard a Seasoned Dungeoneer. I'm going to decline to put it under the Converter, though. 
land, animate dead the Dungeoneer. Go and get another land. And hopefully we can set up Time Spiral next turn. The other thing is, it's possible that I set up... Uh, let's get a Plains, I guess. Sure. And play a Bobble. It's possible that I can set up a infinite Salvager's Loop by using this Time Spiral. We'll see. Even if I don't get to Narset anymore. I mean, this is going to be close. Academy Urza was basically the two best cards I could imagine my opponent playing, like, barring, like, you know, casting Channel Emrakul or something. But, like, Urza into Academy is, is exactly what the artifact decks want to do. The good thing is my teammate has Walking Ballista, so I know I'm not doing that. Oh, okay. Mystic Forge. Sure into six mana. Well, they don't have technically have Mystic Forge plus top for infinite card draw or card draw one per mana because of this Narset, but it sounds like, looks like they're playing Frexian portal. Portal to Frexia here is kind of what I would assume is happening. Okay. All right, well, the Narset's going down. I guess Narset's going down and I'm taking damage and I'm losing the initiative. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't all happen. Okay. Well, do I want to draw with Bobble? I kind of... Hmm. I'm kind of not sure. Because on the one hand, I'm about to time spiral. Yeah, I think that's probably enough to make me not want to draw. Land, Mana Vault... I think it's worth reanimating the Dungeoneer here. And I guess I'm just going to the Forge. Because I don't think uh, I don't think I need to scry right before I time spiral here. I go to 10. I take the initiative back. And then if I find a time, like the other thing is I can find time warp here off this time spiral and that would be sick too. So let's go ahead and cast a time spiral. If I let my opponent get another turn, I, I, I effectively lose. So it almost doesn't matter that I don't have Narset in play from that, for that standpoint. All right, big time spiral here. Let's hit, let's hit some good stuff. Oh, okay. I hit, uh, am I missing one of my lands? No, there we go. All right, I hit some stuff for sure. Let's cast Flash Atroxa. And then if I hit Salvagers, then I get infinite I get infinite tokens. Okay. Put Atroxa. All right, can I hit Oriox Salvagers, please? I didn't. Hmm. I hit... So this is tough. I hit... Time warp, but I don't have. I mean, I guess I'm taking it, taking a land, taking an enchantment, taking an instant, and I could Emery? Emery, animate dead. Yeah. Am I, do, or do I want triplicate Titan in my graveyard instead? Um, so I could animate. I have seven mana left. But four of it, or three of it's LED mana. What I could do, so I could either Emery Mill 4 and Hope Salvagers is in the top four, or I could animate Dead Atroxa in response, sack LED, and basically say, like, hey, if Salvagers is in the top 10, uh, then that is good. The question is, do I want to not take Time Warp then and leave that in my deck? I kind of feel like I do. And I don't really want Days in my deck. Uh, oh, I get Artifact for free, so I can take both. The question is, again, do I want Emery in my deck, or do I want Triplicate Titan in my deck? I think I have no way to shuffle. Oh, I guess Emery gets me another look, because I can cast Emery, animate. Yeah, all right. And in that case, I think I'd rather have Triplicate Titan. 
in my deck or in my hand? I think in my deck. All right. Because now I cast Emery and Emery mills four. If I had enough mana to just cast Time Warp, I would have just done that. Unfortunately, I did not. Okay. Did not mill Salvagers. <laughs> I mean, I think I... I kind of... Oh, wait, no, I don't have enough mana for all this. Because I can animate and I cast Salvagers. Oh, if I animate the uh, Atroxa... Oh, no, 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 it doesn't work. Because if I animate Atroxa, I, Salvagers doesn't come into play. Um, what I need to hit is reanimate, which I'm probably going to hit also, actually. So let's go, I don't need to play Retrofitter, so let's go Animate Dead on Atroxa. And in response, I'll sack this for black, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, I want to put, oh, I get another mana off currency converter too. Oh, okay, great. Yes, yes. <clears throat> I guess I'll convert all, all I'm not going to convert the, uh, the Narset or the Retrofitter. Okay, so I have three black floating, Animate Dead Atroxa. Okay, Atroxa hits. All right, uh, let's see, hold on. Do I have enough mana here? Salvagers goes in, I can play Salvagers. No, I am one mana short, because Salvagers goes into my graveyard, or into my hand, not into the into my graveyard. Hold on, I can, I can, get, I can get another mana off Currency Converter. Uh, this is so weird. I have three black floating. I mean, I guess what I can do is I can Fractured Identity the portal here if I want. Is there any way to... I had to sack LED in response. That That's not too much of an issue. I've already played my land. Uh -huh. Is there any way to... So I guess I needed to not play Emery, but then I wouldn't have necessarily hit on the Salvagers either. Because I can make a treasure, and then I'll have five mana. I'll be one mana short of Salvagers plus Reanimate. Re I can Fractured Identity the Urza, but then that doesn't really get much for me. So I think I just put Fractured Identity, Salvagers, Liliana, Island, in hand. Fracture Identity, the portal to Frexia. Hold on. I'm going to put Island in my graveyard here. And then Fracture Identity, the portal, I think is the best I can do. I think I am one short of Salvagers plus Return. And I don't think there's another way I can... I can go about doing that, so let's take out the Urza and take out the Construct while also taking out the Portal. And then hope that Forge Top doesn't uh, doesn't get me. Wild. I guess so. I guess what I needed to do was not play Emery there. And then I'd have enough mana to just cast Salvagers and... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like I would necessarily win. I would make infinite tokens and pass the turn. But all right, well, let's see what they've what they've got going here. So the start of your turn, I have the initiative. I have a Troxa, Dungeoneer, Emery out, Salvagers in hand. A lot of stuff going on here. I'll tell you that much. All right, Mox, sure. Put my teammates have brain freeze. Fast bond, sure. I mean, you get to do it all. It's possible that I would still lose even with the salvagers thing because if they have like upheaval or something, then that gets me. All right. 
Mm. Yeah, this is a sick deck. Urza, Fast Bond, Academy. The kind of deck that I never get to draft anymore. <laughs> All right, you've got some mana. Let's see you. If I had Narset in play, it would, it would stop the whole top thing too. But sadly, we're not in a position to keep Narset around. I'm just gonna crack ball pass and then maybe maybe I'll crack bobble into turn. I don't know. Balance? Okay. It doesn't seem like it does too much. It feels like you could have tried to balance my hand away, but okay, all my creatures go away. I mean, with a portal out, it doesn't really matter too much. And I've got salvagers ready to go anyway. Let's see what, you, what you're doing. I mean, I am going to want to crack bobble, I guess. I guess I'll just crack bobble here. So I can just yield. Kozilek. Okay, that's a lot of mana. Five... I mean, Kozilek doesn't do anything is, the, is part of the thing, though. It uses... Can't even cast it right now, right? Yeah, not quite. Probably can with... Well, since he's top Fast Bond Mystic Forge without a way to generate mana, it doesn't actually draw... It doesn't actually increase your mana unless your lands are tapping for more than one. Because you spend one to play the top and one to draw, and the land produces one. So I guess if you have another land on top, you could play Kozilek... One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, they're not doing that. So what I'm going to do on my turn is salvagers plus try to salvagers plus time warp. Oh, how am I going to do that? It's kind of interesting. Um. Oh, I guess it's it's Urza. There we go. So. Assuming I get the opportunity to, oh, through the breach, oh, and then Kozilek through the breach. Dang, okay, had it, had that too. Oof, what a game. So, well, had I been able to maybe string together infinite, maybe that would have done something, but actually against balance, it still wouldn't have, just balanced all my stuff away and then Kozilek me. Yeah, going infinite there would not have, uh, not have stopped that. Um, Dothy Voidwalker? That doesn't, that doesn't do too much. Didn't see much going to the graveyard there. I think Days is still fine. Um, I could Thief of Sanity just because I'm not playing against someone who's got like a ton of interaction. Um, maybe cut Liliana. Liliana is, I think, a little bit less interesting. All right, we'll try this. All right, I would like to play first. Um, yeah, I mean, this is turn one Imperial Seal for Flash, turn two Flash. That's just going to be my plan here. <laughs> the funny thing is, I have turn one Imperial Seal for Salvagers. Turn two, I could actually go off with salvagers but i would have nothing to do with it i'd have infinite mana and nowhere to go so let's just get flash here and go for the the turn two i do have to worry about balance mock sapphire too huh don't love it sea chrome coast I'll, I'll play my led why not pass the turn and then end of turn i'm gonna toss out the Wormerino. Time Twister? All right, well, let's respond to that. Let's put a World Spine Worm into play. Okay. <clears throat> they did a good job unmulliganing, but uh, I think that worked out all right. Oh. Okay. I, I mean, I guess I hope these worms go the distance because <laughs> that was what a bad Time Twister. Six land and a retrofitter. Okay, okay. Narset is nice because Narset. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it here. I'm gonna play Narset in case balance hits, and then I've got uh, Narset ready to go. Okay. 
Tinker? Tinker 2. Wow. Into the portal. All right. Well, there's nothing to get back at least. So there is that. But geez. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll cast Oriox Salvagers. Salvagers. I get to make a lot of mana here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get infinite tokens, which I know they can I know they can beat infinite tokens. Um but I want to Narset as well, so I'm gonna Narset after adding a lot of mana with the salvagers here so that I can uh do something there. Okay, so let's sack this now for blue. Basically what I need to do before I use Narset is I need to make sure I have enough mana to cast anything I get off Narset. So I'm going to do some of this here. What a wild match. This has been a cool one, that's for sure. Opponent's deck is really sick. They just have the Dream Academy deck from what I can tell. Salvagers, LED. Let's make a few more manas. And then probably crack it for, I guess, blue again and then, and then fire it off. I think that's enough mana. The awkward part is if you just find card draw into card draw, then all of a sudden you can't have enough mana with LED. So you do kind of have to do this to start with. All right. Let's do this one more time and then Narset here. Here. All right. Narset into Time Spiral. <laughs> nope, into Talisman. All right. Uh, Okay, well, that's all I got then. And create a 1-1 one -one retrofitter. Create a 1-1. One -one. All right, play this, untap that, and then we've, we've agreed that I have infinite tokens in play. And so they have one turn to draw balance, or or that's the the, the game right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Whew. on to game three. So, do I want abrupt decay? Do I want soul guide lantern? Not really. Welder? No. Dothy Voidwalker. Hmm. March of otherworldly light. Probably not March. I wouldn't say. Kind of interested in Dothy Floydwalker, but no, I think I think I like where I'm at. All right, game three. Yeah, I've got to keep this hand. We've got turn one currency converter, and uh, no more mocks. Okay, turn two probably. Talisman, and I could Imperial Seal, but unless I draw something, then Imperial Seal is not going to do much for me here. Okay, they have Talisman, so their Mox Opal is on now. Oh man, they're going to be able to go get Academy next turn. I don't like that. All right, action. Oh, that was not action. I mean, it's not bad, but it's really not what I'm looking for here. I think. Talisman. And I don't think I don't think I Imperial Seal because I need it to either draw Flash or one of my creatures so I could Imperial Seal for the other half. I think where I currently am at, I'd rather just draw and play Dungeoneer. And I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Had I drawn Salvagers, I also could have uh Imperial Sealed for for Lion's Eye, but I guess that wouldn't have even done that much. Oh no, I'm feeling really bad about all this. Here comes Tolarian Academy. Mm. 
And then Time Twister would be the natural course. All right, well, the good news is I drew garbage, so <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna win this game. Okay, Gemstone Caverns in your deck on the play. Bold move. <laughs> I, easy mistake to make, but it is strictly worse to do that than just side into a basic land. Um, okay, Talisman's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, so nine mana next turn. Oh, let's swamp cycle this, make a 2-2. Two, two. Why not? Okay, and I think I just get a swamp. Draw. Time Warp's not the absolute worst. Let's go Narset. And I think I'm going to play Emery. And I don't even think I Narset here. I just have nothing I can play this turn. So I think I'd rather just do this and then pass. And then next turn I have Time Warp. I also have... Uh, because I have Time Warp, so if I need to double Narset, I can do it by using it, then Time Warp, and then using it again. If we get... I guess a draw seven is not that likely with a Narset in play. It also protects my Narset from, like, a Lightning Bolt. And if a Balance hits, I'd rather have fewer cards in hand. So I don't like this position. I feel like I'm going to lose. But if I get another turn here, then things could work a little better. I'm really hoping not to get, like, through the Breach. This looks like a Pentad Prism, though, to me. Okay. Portal to Frexia, I can live with. Crucible Fast Bond. Okay. Zern Orb? I could technically beat infinite mana. <laughs> and then six, seven mana? What is what is this? I guess they could play. A portal here for nine. If I find LED and an animate, then I can then I can uh, get the salvagers going. Obviously, World Spine's a bit of a, a dead card now. I guess World Spine plus uh, Shallow Grave is not completely dead. Balance, okay. Oh, I guess you get to balance sack the academy to. <laughs> Cute. Uh, I will keep these two. Do I want to keep... The question is, do I want a World Spine Worm in my hand or just like a land? I think a land, probably. I don't think I want World Spine Worm. Oh, I can, I can store World Spine Worm in the, uh, in the converter. Nice. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So I'll put that on the stack. I will convert both of these things because they're getting discarded. And then if I want, I can throw World Spine Worm back if I draw like a shallow grave or something. Okay, okay. They do have enough mana now to replay Academy and then tap it for six. I mean, yeah, they could play you could play Portal, but I guess it doesn't really do much with Balance Gone. Okay, what are we tinkering for? Mystic Forge? Oh, Blightsteel. Okay. Oh, and something else? Oh, we're spinning top. Okay. What do I have to answer Blightsteel? Um, I mean, I guess I have Going Infinite. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to put the treasure back in or put the concealed courtyard back into my deck end of turn make a treasure i'm really hoping this is it okay i don't want to make a 2-2 yet i don't think uh, let's put this back let's draw swamp not a good draw time spiral time spiral would be awesome animate dead okay so I can animate dead salvagers, but it wouldn't really do too much. So let's go ahead and let's time warp and 
Do I want to make a tutu with the worm? I don't think so. It doesn't really seem necessary. So let's just take the turn. There's shallow grave. So I could shallow grave. Obviously, against a blight steel, that's not that good. So let's go ahead and narset first. So we hit we had days and mana vault. <clears throat> okay. Um, I can also shallow grave, and that gets Emery into play. And if Emery mills Lion's Eye, then what I do? I mean, it doesn't do that much, but I do get enough. I do get to. Do I get to do I even get to cycle and Dotha Triumph? Um, yeah, I guess I would. I could also shallow grave Emery and then if it mills a Troxa, which has a has a decent shot of milling as well, I've got the option to do that. Okay. Here comes Emery. Let's see what we mill. It's gonna be a good one. They milled Lotus Petal <laughs> and Mishra's Bobble. So not quite. So I can animate dead. Mm. Play my land. Play mana vault. I guess I will animate the salvagers, but I suppose I can use converter first. Let's see. Oh, this has haste. Oh, because it's a shallow grave. Okay, that's kind of nice. That's an extra mana off Lotus Petal. That's not nothing. Okay. Um. So that means I have one, two, three, four, seven mana. I need four mana to do Salvagers. So I can cycle Trium or I can use Converter. I guess cycling Trium is good. Cycle this because there's a couple things I could hit. Yes, I'll put it in the converter. I'll draw Imperial Seal. Wow, this is getting really close. <laughs> so I can Imperial Seal, animate the Salvagers. Wait, I think I'm one short. Because I can Imperial Seal for, for Salvagers. Or for for Lion's Eye. Currency con oh man, I am one mana short. Again. <laughs> Cause I can Imperial Seal. I can get Oriac Salvagers. Or I can get Lion's Eye. Animate the Salvagers. Oh wait, no, I can. Oh, I can actually do this. Hold on. Alright, so let's go. Imperial Seal. This is a wild way to go about it, but let's get Oriox Salvagers, or uh, I keep saying that, Lion's Eye Diamond, Animate Dead Oriox Salvagers, mm -hmm. oh no, I am, I am one short. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I, I thought I could do the trick, but uh, instead, I'm just gonna play a Mishra's Bobble, and I guess let my opponent take their turn, and then I'll block I'll block the uh, Blight Steel with my Currency Converter token. All right. So I guess I didn't need to pop the animate there, but I don't I don't hate doing that. Let's see what they have. Okay, spinning top end of turn, sure. Yeah, I mean, I needed to be able to Emery. The problem is I can't get mana off the LED in the wrong order. All right, so. And then now Blightsteel could attack me, but I can make a 2-2 two -two to block it. Oh, I, I'm going to have to reshuffle because it's the worm. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't. I needed to crack the Mishra's Bobble, I guess. I kind of like waiting on that usually, but yes, I, I should have cracked Bobble. Obviously, it's... Just making my life harder for no reason. What a weird game. Their deck is really good. I think my deck's pretty good. I I feel like I could have... I don't know. What could I have done? 
certainly, I think shallow graving the emery was good. I mean, there's a lot I lose to here regardless, but obviously, maybe I still should have cracked this bobble. I should have basically had LED in hand already. What is this? If this is a portal, then I guess it doesn't matter too much. All right, portal, salvagers dies. All right, well, I just need to find a, I'll, I'll, I'll actually shuffle, now I will actually intentionally shuffle away the LED because now I need to find time spiral. All right, bobble you, and just water log grow. All right, draw. All right, let's go, let's go time spiral. Time spiral? We would take it. We would definitely take it. No, that's not a time spiral. <laughs> uh, and then there's LED. Um, I guess I'll draw and then discard. That's really funny. All right. Uh, yeah, so I can make infinite mana with salvagers because I drew that. And do I have any instants that I can play? Oh, I have flash. All right. So let's... I might actually time out here is the funny part. All right, I'll try my best not to, but basically what I'm going to need to do here is set up a bunch of bobble triggers and draw basically my whole deck here. And then I can flash World Spine Worm in to block Colossus is going to be kind of the idea. No, I have flash in my graveyard. Never mind. What do I have left in my deck? Julie, come on. Uh... Oh, I don't have, I don't have reanimate either. What can I draw on upkeep that would cause me to, to not lose? I don't think there's much. No, I think I actually lose because I needed to have either flash or reanimate left in my deck. Because right now I'm at nine poison and I need to put seven more toughness there. So actually, I actually do lose. Oh, because if we look at the rest of the deck, I could draw all of these cards, but... I would get Colossus before uh, before they re resolve. How how strange! What a, what a wild match! All right, O one, but uh, that was a, that was a cool match. Round two against Mac. Yeah, I think I just needed to hit Time Spiral off of those Narset activations or LED off of those Narset activations at some point, and didn't really get there. All right, I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna Imperial Seal for Flash. Whoa, bit of a lag there. I didn't like that. And I'm going to play a turn two flash triplicate titan and hope hope that's enough. Mm -hmm. And then I have currency converter to help pull me out of it after that. Lotus petal being way worse than an island here, I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Do you know what to attack? I would have blocked. I was in fact going to flash here. Okay, this is not as bad for Mac as a uh, World Spine Worm, but it's still solid. Land would be pretty nice here. Oh, Zagoth Triumph, perfect. And if he has an instant speed removal spell, the clock gets a lot slower. If he doesn't, it's a pretty fast clock. He's gonna go to 10. Take nine down to ten, and all right, looks like he's killing one of them. Uh, I'm gonna discard. Man, I hate discarding time spiral, but I think that that is that is the the jam. Play a currency converter, which he would have used K command in response, so it's not like playing the converter mattered too much there, whether it was first or not. And still has two three threes to deal with, but that's a lot. A lot more plausible given that uh he's killed one of them already no plays not even a land interesting Let's 
send Bowmasters. Um, response I'll draw, and I think I discard, I think I just discard Talisman. I think I'm on the make creatures plan here. Is he gonna double block? Nice, all right. And play a land and pass. If Mac draws a land, I'm not loving my chances because him being stuck on lands is one of the ways that I'm kind of getting this done. All right, Devoted Druid isn't bad. Land would be okay. Uh, hmm. Swamp is a pretty bad draw, but I think it's still probably better to make a 2-2 than then, then use the converter to draw here. I don't know. I need. I feel like I'm gonna need to do one more thing here to win this game. And currently, I'm not really on pace to do too much of that. Minsk and Boo. Okay. No attack. All right. Um. I guess now I'm just gonna draw and discard. Oh, you're at six? Yeah, I'll discard Narset. And then I'll cast Shallow Graves, end of your turn. And let's attack you <laughs> for nine in the air. Woo! We take those. <laughs> we take those, all right. Well, I needed one more spell, it was a good one. Uh, I think I'm going to change things up a little bit here. Days on the draw I'm less good with. I want Damnation. I want Voidwalker. I want Grave Titan. I might take out Emery. Just because, I don't know, this it's a little bit slow on the draw. I think Spiral's still good. Do I want March? I'm not sure about that. Um... I think Narset is still all right. Maybe I don't play the Voidwalker because it dies to K command. All right, we'll try these though. All right, I am on the draw here. Let's just turn one flash. Oh, no, I'm just gonna discard Grave Titan and turn two, play Grave Titan. I'll reanimate. I think that'll do. Mac is mulliganing here. We're gonna finish, oh, never mind. I'm no, no longer going to do that. <laughs> I'm now going to play a turn on Retrofitter Foundry. We're gonna, I was going to say, we almost are going to finish our match before I finished one of the games last match. <laughs> mm. Witherbloom Command, and he hit the land? Mm. Okay, well, I drew a Mana Vault. That was a really good draw, because now I can just slam a turn three Grave Titan. Let's see, and he got Wasteland back, but joke's on you, I have all basics. Yeah, drawing Mana Vault was pretty nice there, not gonna lie. Draw Narset is definitely something. Okay, so now if I draw a blue or a white, then that unlocks two more cards in my hand, and also, this Grave Titan is going to be a pretty huge problem for him, I would imagine. Minsk and Boo. Okay. I'm going to attack Grave Titan, or attack Minsk and Boo with everything, I think. Oh, Animate Dead is interesting. Uh, yeah, so attack Minsk and Boo, attack Minsk and Boo, attack Minsk and Boo. Make two more. Minsk, Boo blocks a zombie. Ignoble Chumps Grave Titan, but this makes it so tossing Boo kills Boo. Uh, and I will pass. I'm gonna save this Animate Dead in case Mac strings together some way of killing Grave Titan. Also, if he makes his Boo into a 7-7 and passes, next turn I get to just attack with everything. All right, he's gonna sack it. And if he nugs the Grave Titan and I reanimate it, I'll be happy with that. I also have Animate Dead if he has like a Sweeper or something. Uh, it would have been nice to be able to play Narset this turn because that would have stopped the card draw. 
off of that. He did get to draw four there, but he still has a Grave Titan plus two zombies to deal with. Okay, Mox Jet's kind of a start. Land Titania. Get back Windswept Heath. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm going to take my turn here. Oh, Talisman's not actually a bad draw. And I'm going to attack with the Graven Old here. I don't really think attacking with the zombies makes a whole lot of sense because it gives Max some free blocks. Now if he wants to kill Grave Titan, he has to lose two creatures, and then I just go Talisman, animate the Grave Titan, which I'm pretty happy about. Or he takes six. I, I guess that's an option too, but... I think it's better for him to just kill the thing. All right. All right, double block. Oh, he wasted his own windswept teeth, which is good, but then he didn't crack the heath in response. And animate you. Your problems, they have not gone away yet. <laughs> now I have Grave Titan and six zombies, which I think Jund is going to have a hard time dealing with. Ren and six getting back a fetch land. With Titania out. That's not bad. Or I guess this is Wasteland. You can also Wasteland your own, your, your own Wasteland too. Fertile Ground, all right. And is this an answer to Grave Titan? No, it's Kill My Black White Talisman. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Um... It's irrelevant. All right, well, I'm just going to attack Mac with everything then. And I'm not casting another spell this game, and I think I'll be fine. You can Wasteland Zone Proving Ground, make two more 5-3s, block, block, and then block there. Take 10. You're at 9, facing down 7 zombies. So you can get back... Well, Max technically not dead here. The Windswept Teeth's an ambitious one. He needs to play two spells to not die. Oh, he's not playing the Embereth Shieldbreaker. Huh. All right. Maybe I just need a, a nice Shallow Grave. Lotus Petal. Oh, that's not horrendous because I get to Season Dungeoneer now. Attack you with everything. Crack Heath, go to eight. But this is why Windswept Heath was a bit dicey. I mean, if he's got a spell too, then that that is something. Because otherwise this is lethal. Uh, looks like he's got K command. Kill a zombie and get back Endurance or something. Puts him to two. Kills the Devoted Druid at least. Okay, and then I go Lotus Petal, Seasoned Engineer, get an island, play an island, pass the turn. Now Dungeoneer is lethal because it just has pro creatures. So it's got to have a way to kill Dungeoneer or it will finish the job. Even without Dungeoneer, I have Time Warp, which... Looks pretty good too. I mean, he's gonna maybe have to like attack to take the initiative. Yeah, I mean, I guess I take, I take 10 here. Sure. I guess I'll take 10. I'm at six, you get the initiative back. And boom, we are one and one and my team is crushing. They all won round one. So at the very least we're four and one, let's check in. All right, let's get some bonus red zone action. Masapo, Mandrel Man, is up there, uh, and my, my teammate who landed Mesmeric Fiend into Elite Spellbinder, Dan, here. Looks pretty good. Oh, looks like the Monka has Finale and Basalt Monolith in hand. I think, I think you take Finale. Yeah, it's kind of awkward because if you take Monolith, then next turn 
Manderman just casts the monolith for five mana. And if you take Finale, well, he casts monolith and then turn four has four, six, nine mana. But Finale costs four to start, so it can only get a five drop. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. Especially if Dan has a bit more action here um, in the subsequent turns. Because you Mandroman's next turn is kind of spoken for with this hand. It's probably just going to be Basalt Monolith, maybe level up the Tree Speaker. But we will see. All right. Land and Basalt Monolith. So Mandrel's on all forests that we know of. Leveling up that tree speaker like a fiend. All right, Dan, this is a this is the turn where you can really get ahead. Um, slamming a four drop or maybe killing the tree speaker. Those would both be pretty effective plays. No haste creatures as of yet. So sending in Mesmeric Fiend and Spellbinder. And it's a little interesting. Do you level up tree speaker or not? Because it's a one two, so it actually blocks the Mesmeric Fiend. And I think life against this like black red white aggro deck is kind of important but on the other hand if you get it up to a 1-4 and all your elves tap for double green yeah, it doesn't do that much so i would be kind of inclined i think people should basically never level it past one unless you, there's like really nothing else to do but it is close all right in come the the fiends and this is a turn five cards in hand. I would expect Dan to make a decent play here. What do we got? Flicker Wisp on the Elite Spellbinder. Nah, that's not that impressive of a play. Oh, you, you p picked off a Green Sun Zenith. Okay. Well, that's not bad. So Green Suns, though, this is now... Play a land. You have nine mana. You could Green Suns for a six drop or Finale for a five drop. And I have the Elder Gargaroth on my sideboard, so let's see what uh, let's see what Mandrel Man gets on up to here. Because you two three one flyers is pretty good against most most green things. What are you gonna get? You're gonna play your land, play Rafellos. Okay, and then level up Tree Speaker twice. Okay, so now we're just going for a finale for 10 next turn because this is 4, 8, 11, uh, 13 mana. Oh, that's actually not... Well, with a land in hand, that could be a finale for 10. I assume... Yeah, there we go. I, I just knew Dan would have something. And now Parallax Wave basically just ends the game here. You get to Parallax Wave the two elves right away. Smash for 7. And then even if... Mandrel casts Finale or Green Sun Zenith. You can get like a four drop from Green Suns, a three drop from Finale. Maybe plus one on those now. Plus two. So what are we getting with Green Suns? You can get a six drop with Green Suns. Uh, not that many sixes deal with Parallax Wave. I guess you could not tap the Monolith and get like a Reclamation Sage if you have one. I think we're just casting uh, the biggest Green Suns we can. But I would imagine Parallax Wave still kind of gets the job done here. Let's see what this is. Because it it probably, yeah, it does not, does not work. And Dan takes that game. Nice, nice. A little red zone action for you. All right, let's watch game three as well since uh, we're playing Mandrel Man after this game. Turn one Utopia Sprawl versus turn one Thraven Inspector. Advantage, Utopia Sprawl, especially on the play. Whoa. Okay. Well, this is all acceleration. Let's see where you, you got somewhere to go with all that. I mean, hopefully not. Is That's my opponent. But uh, it's funny. The third piece of acceleration is a lot less impressive than the first couple. Because now, yes, we might still have something good, in which case, you know, maybe every piece of acceleration matters. But... We're now edging towards getting mana flooded. Mandraman might not have a big play here. Yeah, there's a talisman. The fourth piece of acceleration is certainly not that exciting. So, I mean, you would keep this hand, but this is still just like... We're now sitting on a million mana. Ooh, end of turn Cathar Commando. That's even better than the, the cracking the clue play I thought was going to happen. Into Adeline. Yeah, this is the best way to fight this. Is just uh, 
beating down. So now Manderman falls to 18, is facing down four creatures. This is the turn for a big Zenith. Doesn't have it. And it uh, looks like my team, I think, any play from Dan doesn't end the game, but gets pretty close. And if it's like a parallax wave, it, that would be obviously a lot. It's possible that we want to sack Cathar Commando at some point here. The, the, the break point is you don't want to die to like a finale for 10, but this is, you know, Manderman's on eight mana. That's not, not going to happen quite yet. Probably blocking Cathar Commando with Wall of Roots here. Okay, you hit for eight. So you have, you don't quite have lethal next turn because next turn the Adeline's probably going to get blocked. Oh, Firebolt the wall, nice. Yeah, this makes me want a Cathar Commando. I don't know, one of the things most likely it's it's close. It's unlikely the extra one mana is going to make that big of a difference, but you still would like it to. Oh, so Kinnan, well, this is this is why you 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 may may have wanted to do that because now Kinnan has exactly enough mana to to flip the top card or to look at the top five. I'm not saying that's going to be enough, but without if you used Kathar Commando there, then Kinnan wouldn't have been able to do that. It's too late once Kinnan's on the stack. Oh no, that's not true. With Kinnan on the stack, you could have killed the Mox or Talisman as well. Well. Next turn, if you draw a land, you can just go land, f flashback, firebolt, make you use Kinan now, and then if then if, you, if Mandrelman misses, he's just dead. Also, most hits still probably just have to trade with Adeline here. So, let's see if, uh, if Dan, Dan is deciding whether or not to use Cathar Commando now. Still, I mean, it would, the best time to use it would have been in would have been on your last turn, but. I think uh, using it now is still pretty legit. It's kind of an interesting question. Do you want the extra attacker or do you want to force the use of Kinnan now? The thing is, if you're going to Firebolt, then you're kind of forcing the use anyway. But forcing now before making the decision for next turn is pretty nice. Because Mandroman now has to activate Kinnan and put something into play. It doesn't really work otherwise. All right. Activate, see what we got. Lotus Cobra, that is not gonna do it. So, Parallax Wave would be lethal. Mm, Swords to Plowshares isn't lethal, but Cobra, I mean, Cobra technically doesn't even have to block Adeline. It's obviously fine to block it, but Adeline is gonna be lethal next turn, and then, just for the hell of it, I guess, Recurring Nightmare right back a Cathar Commando. <laughs> <laughs> and a tap land. All right. Mandrelman almost assuredly out of the running now. And there we go. Danzent wins the match, and we're up a nice lead here. All right, round three, playing against the Mandrelman himself. And, well, definitely keeping this hand. It's kind of interesting. If I want to guarantee a turn two flash, I could Imperial Seal for an island. What I might do, well, first of all, see what I draw. Oh, yeah, that, okay, that changes my mind. See, drawing the card changes your mind about the card. Uh, I'm just going to get an island now, or I guess a sea chrome coast. Had I drawn a blue source, I would have probably gotten world spine, but drawing animate dead means that, let's get the sea chrome coast in there. Animate dead means that now after I flash in the triplicate titan, I can just animate it. So setting up the turn two titan, turn three animate, I think is clearly the right play. I'm not sure what Mandrill's got to fight it. Okay, Talisman is better for me than uh, than Rafelos. Rafelos is what I was a little bit more worried about. And I don't think that Mandrill has any counter magic, so I'm not really worried about doing this now. I might, might as well wait. Maybe he plays a Planeswalker or something, He not knowing that uh, Flash is coming. Though I guess, given that this is round three and my teammates have told him what's up, you, you would kind of suspect Flash. You might even be pleasantly surprised that it's a triplicate Titan instead of a... Uh, instead of, a, what's it called? A World Spine, a Worm. Oh, here's the Rafelos. Okay, so it's just, will an 8-9 and 3-3-3s three, three, defeat 
Rafelos and all the mana. I guess we'll find out. Because uh, I'm going to animate dead this. And I think play Indotha Trium and slam. And then now I've got lethal in the air, actually exactly lethal in the air, plus two creatures on the, on the, on the board that are 3-3 uh, three, three dorks on the ground. And then triplicate Titan, if it dies, it makes three more. Okay, what's your what's your big finish? Primeval Titan? No. Could be Nyssa. Could be a Green Suns. Looks like a Green Suns to me. Green Suns for seven. I have the Atroxa. Oh, Titan of Industry. Reach and Trample. Okay. So I guess maybe you blow up the animate dead and make a 4-4 four, four. and then I have six things and I attack you for lethal. All right, that, that works for me. So what was he supposed to do? Because clearly that didn't work. Uh, I think if you could gain five life, you'd be at 16, block go to one. The problem is if you don't kill the triplicate titan with the titan, then the triplicate titan gets you pretty bad. So I'm going to put in damnation. I actually do. I kind of like all these again. So again, taking out days. Mm. Emery. I like Fractured. I like all that. And maybe Liliana of the Veil. Because he's got a lot of creatures. All right. On the draw here. And let's see. I've got a lot of turn two flashes. Though I'd, I like Imperial Seal a lot in decks that have flash. So even though I don't really like Imperial Seal that much generally... You can see how good it is uh, when you've got the flash combo. This hand doesn't do anything. I think I have to mulligan that. It's just pretty far from doing something. I'm going to keep this. I get to draw an extra card with the bobble. I think I'm going to put Indotha Trium away. And I get to use Currency Converter. If I draw Flash, I can Flash in Titan. And if I draw an Animate, I can Animate the Titan. And those both sound pretty good. So, and I, I put back the Tap Land because my curve is going to be Turn 1 Converter, Turn 2 Use It. All right, Tree Speaker. Okay, don't love that. Let's draw, Bobble, Currency Converter. Pass the turn. Okay, level up the tree speaker. Hopefully don't play a talisman or a mana dork. No, it's a talisman. All right, what you got coming? Rafelos, all right. <laughs> You're on the mana plan. I, I do see that. All right, action? Not, not really. No, not really. Let's pass. I think I'm going to discard a land because I think keeping the titan in play or in hand in case I draw flash is pretty good. Yeah, you got Nyssa. All right, I need to find Damnation is what I need to find. Didn't even attack with the forest. Cowardly. All right, let's draw. Let's find that Damnation, shall we? Well, LED is interesting. All right, all right. I need to find something here. Uh, I guess I'll just play a land and pass. Yeah, Damnation would still be pretty good, especially if he animates that other land. Six mana prime time. Okay. Now if I find Oriok Salvagers end of turn, then we're, we're talking... I don't know what we're talking about, but we're talking about something. All right, I'll take it, and end of turn, I'm going to use this. I can already, I can take an extra turn here in a second because uh, I'm going to get to go play my fourth land and then use Converter to to make in, uh, treasure. I really don't think you need to be leveling up Tree Speaker this much, honestly. Draw, oh, that's nice. Um, let's put an island under there. I think I still want to wait on the Triplicate Titan here. Um, do I want a time warp yet? I don't think so. Let's go land, damnation, and then time warp next turn. And 
and how close am I to casting Titan? I'm not as ridiculously far as you might think. Oh man, we got something else here? Oh, is this a Titan of Industry? Or a Green Sun for Titan of Industry, same thing. That's a good refill. Probably blow up currency converter and make a 4-4. Right. Let's make a treasure. Now I'm hoping that I don't, if I draw an animate, I can't animate the triplicate titan. I need to stop drawing lands. I've, I think I drew, I drew a damnation. That was good. Otherwise, I've drawn all lands. And I guess a lion's eye? Sure. All right. Action. Mm, I mean, it's something. Let's look at the top four. Oh, Fractured Identity. It's also Retrofitter. There's also Imperial Seal. So I'm going to lose my Narset no matter what. So I'm at 17. Hold on, am I dead? Oh. I'm actually dead to Nyssa. If he attacks me with everything, huh? So I guess I'm not Imperial Sealing then. I guess should I have sacked Lion's Eye in response and hope to draw something? Um, I mean, Retrofitter... Retrofitter technically keeps me alive. So I guess I'll take that. Play a land. Play Retrofitter. Pass the turn. I don't know where I go from here. I guess I just hope to draw Time Spiral still. I mean, I, I'm pretty dead. I even drew the Damnation, but I'm still pretty dead. Unfortunately, I had to show him the Damnation. I don't like that. Oh, so I could have just... I guess I could have just gone for it, because he's not... He's getting all his forests into play. And now his things are indestructible. Sure. Okay, that's going to attack Narset, and then these are going to attack me. Uh, I'll block the 4-4, I think, because that could buy me an additional turn. Narset down. All right, draw Time Spiral anyway. No. I mean, I'm not technically dead here. So let's just play this and pass. I mean, if I draw Salvagers, I just have infinite infinite uh, tokens here. So, as, assuming I don't lose this turn, of course. 10, 11, oh, this looks like a, this looks like a finale here. Okay, I mean, I do, I do lose to that, this is true. Yeah, all right. Um, go into game three here. Do you want days on the play? Against Finale and Green Sons, it, it seems like days on the play could be pretty reasonable. And maybe I cut the Dothy Voidwalker. All right, let's try that. All right, game three. I'm on the play. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep this hand. I guess what this hand is, is turn one, Island Go. No, turn one, Mana Vault. Turn two, cycle, troll, get a swamp, and then flash in Grave Titan and then animate the Grave Titan. That's my plan. Unless I draw something better. Um, I guess I'm still going to cycle the troll here. And... I actually think I'm going to get Indotha Triome. Cast Flash. Yep. That's my opponent in a second here. That's what he's going to sound like. <laughs> and then animate the Grave Titan. All right. And then, I mean, good luck. I have 13 power out on turn two. And then 
Mandrill's going to have to have a hell of a ramp game in order to deal with this. Oh! Exile the anime dead? That That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, I went for Indatha Triumph so that <laughs> I could cast a <laughs> Seasoned Dungeoneer, but I guess I'll take that. <laughs> and Bash for 8. It's, uh, yeah, this game looks like it's going to end. Mm. Again, this is this is what I sound like when, when my opponent does this to me, so <laughs> it's only fair. Yeah, I would say this ended up working out all right. And honestly, though, like, I, I don't want to harp on it too much. No, I do. I, I'm just going to. Uh, this is why you take Flash early. It just leads to these landslide games. It makes tutors broken. It makes animate spells broken. Honestly, like, this is just a completely unreasonable thing for Mandrill to have to fight against. And in fact, he did not win. All right. That's a 2-1 and that's a draft dub, I believe. Let's check in on the team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.